here. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Photoshop layer styles and how to load them and how to use them. So before I showed you the fabric swatches, how to apply them in Illustrator and also the um, drop shadow. And we have basically the same thing in Photoshop. So to load them up, we want to have our styles panel open. And if you don't see that, go to window styles and go to the top right corner and click import styles and then you can just navigate to where your styles are at. And also most of the time you can double click the styles or drag them onto your Photoshop icon. But we have got the different fabric styles. So I've got a layer here filled with white and if I click on the fabric style, it's going to apply the style um, with the different fabrics and it's going to use whatever color it is. So I have a white base here, so it's going to use that white base and have the lightest. But if I double click on my color fill and change it, it's going to use whatever color that I have applied. So it's very nice that way. And you could always customize it if you want. So you could double click into the pattern overlay and by default it's on linear burn, but you know, if you want a subtler effect, you could turn the opacity down or change the scale so it's like a more fine or bigger. And so it's very flexible. And the same thing, you know, if you have a colored background here, I can click on this and it takes the, um, whatever color you have of the layer. So it's very nice. And I'm just gonna click here, just get kind of a default one. So those are the different uh, styles and there's 10 different fabric styles for your background. Now, I've copied and pasted some embroidery that I have from my, from my Illustrator file. So I've just pasted it in here as a smart object. And what we also have in this is the thread styles. And just like in Illustrator, we had that slight drop shadow, which add a really nice bit of realism directly within Illustrator. We have basically the same thing in Photoshop. With Photoshop, it allows me to use like a little bit of a bevel and emboss. So I took advantage of that and I created this style here. And that little bit of a bevel, I think adds just a little something extra. So especially if you're, you know, kind of using a big brush or something, it, it adds a nice, um, nice, nice little realistic pop. So I really love it. And I really like, I like to bring my design into Photoshop. And then what's cool is you can also, if you bring it into Photoshop, you know, you can paint on this and create like watercolor um, embroidery or, you know, add some extra things. So it's a, a way to kind of finish it off, if you will. So I've got the, um, the different uh, guidelines here and the different styles. So this is like from about one point to seven point, 0.75 thread size. And if you have a dark background, then I have a different style. So it's dark background and I'll click this and it's um, a more subtle shadow. So it doesn't look too, it looks more realistic. So I'm just gonna turn that off. And then we've got one for if you have a 0.5 thread, more or less, these are general guidelines. You can always, you know, um, just use them as you like and play around with it. And then I've got 0.25. So those are the thread styles and it adds a really nice bit of realism. And as you can see here, I'm going to turn my bevel and emboss on and off and you see it just adds that little extra pop that just makes it absolutely like perfect. So I really enjoy bringing it into Photoshop and finishing it off there. So it's very nice. And if you have any questions, just let me know down below and be sure to check out all the videos so that you can get the most out of your product.